I have so many to choose from. I know I didn't need any new vans. See, I'm such a beauty guru. Like, I know all the tips. ASMR. After the first week of school, I literally just wear like the most casual stuff. Oval. Good morning guys. I'm super excited for today's video because I am doing a back to school look. This is basically like a get ready with me for first day of school. Even though it's not actually my first day of school, this is like a get ready with me for like a school day. So I'm showing you what I would do if I was getting ready for school. So like straightening my hair, doing my makeup, and picking out a casual outfit. I wanted to do this video before school started so you guys had ideas of what to wear on the first day of school or what to wear any day of school because this look isn't like super dressy. It's very casual. After the first week of school, I literally just wear like the most casual stuff. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Good morning guys. So I'm going to start this look in my bathroom and I'm going to straighten my hair and do like my skincare and stuff. Brush my teeth. Normally when I wake up, it's still a little bit straightened from the day before if I don't wash it. So it looks like this. It's like a little bit curly. It's kind of getting like to my natural hair, but it's still super straight because I have straightened it the day before. <laughs> I'm about to start my makeup. I'm just gonna show you guys my everyday makeup routine because this is what I'm gonna be doing for back to school. I get this requested a lot too, so I feel like this is just what I should show you guys. But yeah, this is what I do every day. I don't usually have a problem with spending too much time on my makeup. It normally takes like 15 to 20 minutes to do it, but I could get it done in 10 minutes if I was like really rushing. I had to move my camera to this side of my desk today because it's better lighting over here. So the background isn't as cute, sorry about that that. So let's get started. So I'm first going to start off with my moisturizer. I've been using Curology recently. I haven't seen a huge difference in using their skincare products. I've heard so many good things about it. Do you guys see a difference in my skin? Like I feel like it just kind of looks as it usually does. Maybe if I tried using this during fall or like the colder months when I actually break out. So maybe if I use that during those months and I see if I'm breaking out or not, then that could be a good way to see. But anyway, let's get into the makeup. I'm going to first start with a foundation. I've been using the Tarte Found Sealer. It's basically a foundation that you're not supposed to use with concealer because it's super full coverage, but I like using it with a concealer anyway. It's been working really well recently, so I'm going to use this. Another foundation that I use if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money on the Tarte one is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Yeah, I really like this one too, so if you don't want to spend as much money on this, I'd recommend this. Put a couple pumps on my hand and then use my beauty blender to blend it in. I haven't done like a makeup tutorial in like so long. As you can see, like it covers pretty well, but it doesn't look like too much. I'm gonna take my concealer. I use a drugstore concealer because I don't really see a difference between high end and drugstore. I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me powders. I have oily skin, so I use like the mattifying ones. And then I like pat it into my skin because if you rub it around, it's just gonna rub off the makeup before. See, I'm such a beauty guru. Like, I know all the tips. Now that that's done, I'm gonna move into my eyebrows. First thing I do is brush them out, and then I fill them in. I've been doing the same routine for my eyebrows for a long time. So I use two Anastasia products. One is the Anastasia Dip Brow, and one is the Brow Powder. This is probably unnecessary, but I open up the Dip Brow, and this is like a cream product. Put a layer of it on my eyebrow. Just kind of like using this to shape it out. And then I use the Brow Powder to actually fill it in. Okay, so next thing I usually do is go into bronzer because I actually use my bronzer for eyeshadow. I just, it works good. It's way more convenient to do this. I'm going to take my bronzer. I use the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. Put it on my cheekbones like this. Just to warm up my face and like sculpt it out. It looks like oval. So this like really helps to make it have more shape. You know what I mean? So then for eyeshadow, I take a fluffy brush like this, just get some of the product and then I just blend it right into my crease and blend it out a little bit. I don't spend too much time on my eyeshadow, but I want some color and I feel like when it matches the bronzer, it looks super nice. So that's why I use the same product. But I also do this with blush sometimes, like if I want to use my blush color for eyeshadow. So next thing is picking my blush and this is my favorite part of the morning because I have so many to choose from. I have a huge blush collection, but I really only use my Tarte blushes because I have so many. Ah! 
recently I've been using this one. It's a mini blush called Party. I just really like it because it's matte and it looks super nice, but I want to use something different today. The color Peaceful. This one's really pretty. It's a little bit lighter and more pink. Well, kind of looks shimmery. I don't really like shimmer blushes. So I'm going to pick some of this up on my blush brush and then just put it right here on the apples of my cheeks. See, I remember the terms of beauty grooves, apples of my cheeks. And then I also like to put it on my nose. I think it looks so cute when people put blush on their nose. I don't want it too crazy. ASMR. And now I'm going to use some highlight. I've talked about this in a video before, but one of my favorite highlights is actually an eyeshadow, and it's the Stila eyeshadow in Kitten. I use it for my eyes and my face. So I take a small brush and put it in my inner corner, and then I'm also going to put it underneath my brow bone, and then I put some on my nose right here and right here. And then I take the same brush that I used for my bronzer and put it on my cheekbones. Okay, so I'm not done with my makeup yet, but I'm done with all of my face makeup. So I'm going to set it before I put on mascara and my lip product. I use the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Everyone uses this. It's great. It smells super good too. And now I'm going to put on mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It's the Benefit Roller Lash. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. This and the Maybelline Rocket Mascara is two of my favorites of all time. I'm gonna put some on my top and bottom lashes. Do you guys remember when people would just put mascara on their top lashes? The last thing to do is lips, and I use two different products. First, my Carmex, because I'm addicted to it. So I use that, and then I also use a lip gloss over it. I just like a little bit of color, so I just use this to make my lips look kind of shiny, kind of pink. This is what it looks like, and yeah, this is how I do my makeup every day. So it's pretty simple, but it's cute. I feel like it's natural, but like it highlights all of your good features, and it's good for school because it'll last the whole day. This is what my makeup looks like. I really like it. Okay, so now that I have my makeup, up done I'm going to get on my outfit also why the hell is it so dirty oh my gosh there is so much going on on my vanity right now this is 100% something I would wear any day. So I got new shoes for this look because I thought you guys would like to see something new. Okay, so here is my first look. I'm super excited for this look because it's very simple, very basic. It's really like casual and cute. I'm wearing this white top from Brandy Melville that is super cropped and it has a foundation stain on it. So love that. I'm wearing leggings and then down below I'm wearing my new shoes. I love these. These are so cute. They are the checkered vans, but they're like this bluish gray color. I know I didn't need any new vans, but I think these are really nice. And they're a break from just plain white ones. To match the shoes, I'm wearing like this lavender velvet scrunchie. Super cute. See, it kind of matches. And then I'm wearing a bunch of bracelets. And then I'm wearing my silver necklace that I wear every day. I know it's very simple, but I think it's cute. Okay, so this is the next back to school look. I even added a backpack to make the look more complete. So this is what it looks like. I haven't taken the tags off of these jeans yet because I want to put these in a haul. So just ignore the tags because I'm waiting for a back to school haul on that. This is what the outfit looks like and this is so cute. This is perfect for a back to school look. Um, comfortable, I can move around. And uh, it's cute. My top is from Brandy Melville. It's this gray and black ribbed tank top. Brandy Melville has a lot of really great shirts for school because usually they're all dress code. And then I threw on my lanyard because I figured it reminds me more of school because I always wore my lanyard when I went to school. Next, I'm wearing these high rise distressed mom jeans. I'm in love with these. These are from Hollister. Hollister has some really good jeans right now and they're all like on sale, so you guys should check them out. So that's what the back looks like checkered vans their slip-ons at the bottom yeah and then i have like scrunchie bracelets apple watch all of the stuff um the necessities throw it on with your backpack and you're ready for school this is totally something i would have worn to school and definitely something i will be wearing next year Okay, so here is my final back-to-school look. I really like this outfit as well. This is definitely one of my favorites. Usually when I start school, it's super hot, over 80 degrees because it's the end of August. So I have to dress like this because it's like super hot. But there are a million different ways to customize this look depending on the weather that you're going to be going into. This is what the look looks like. I think it's super, super cute. Sorry for all the Brandy Melville. I just feel like that's my go-to place for back-to-school clothes. I'm wearing a black soft v-neck 
tank top. I really like it paired with this necklace. It's like a shell necklace white. I really like it. And then down below, I'm wearing this plaid blue skirt from Brandy Melville. It is kind of short, but it reminds me of a little like schoolgirl look, and I think that's so cute. And I have worn this skirt to school before, and it's really cute. I like it a lot. And then down below, I'm wearing some black slip-on Vans. Another way you could wear this is with like taller ankle socks with high top Converse. So that is the three looks. I hope you guys like all of them. I also want to do a whole video on back to school looks because I love putting together outfits. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Okay, so that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It's just a quick get ready with me for a day of school. I can't believe school is already coming so soon. That's crazy. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Mwah.